Thank you all for being here. This is very exciting, and uh, I think we have sort of the startup motif going. Um, startup America is very much uh, in that motif, in the sense that in the state of Nebraska, Startup America is just launching. So I have received some feedback where people have said, well, what does it do? What does it mean? And it doesn't do or mean anything right now. This is kind of where we are. We have a blank canvas, empty walls, an empty office, and it's our job to build something great. Over the last five, ten years, Nebraska has taken tremendous strides forward with regards to entrepreneurship, and the country has paid attention to what is going on. Last night I was in Kansas City, as were many of you, uh, for the Pipeline Innovator of the Year Award, and I talked to people from around the country who were talking about what was going on in Nebraska. I talked to the people from the Kauffman Foundation. I talked to folks from foundations on both coasts, and they were consistently praising the things that were going on in Nebraska, particularly in Omaha and Lincoln. So I think that's a testament to where we are today. We aren't starting from scratch, but this is a real opportunity for us to be able to do a lot more. And Startup America is really an opportunity in that sense. There are many things going on already. One of the big players and one of the key parts of what's making our ecosystem go forward is Silicon Prairie News. And so I'm going to let Jeff Slobotsky talk for just a couple minutes about SPN and kind of do an introduction to Startup America. Thanks, everybody, for coming down. So at Silicon Prairie News, kind of our goal and mission really is to influence uh, the ecosystem and long-term change. So as we look at things like Startup Nebraska, we see this as one of the key components to be able to influence the landscape and the culture and the community of what the state looks like and what the region looks like over the next 5, 10, 15, and 20 years. So as Tom said, this is just the start. This is just the beginning. Uh, everyone in this room, as well as everyone who's not even here, has an opportunity to really shape what this looks like for future growth for our region, for our state. Uh, again, with Silicon Prairie News, my co-founder Dusty Davidson on the back against the wall. We've got Danny on the uh, camera over here and on the left, and then we've got Brittany and a couple of our staff and interns in the back. And so our goal really is to serve uh, as a sounding board and a mouthpiece for what's going on in the region, what's going on in the community. For those of you guys who aren't familiar, Silicon Prairie News, we started it about three years ago uh, with the idea you know, we knew there was activity going on around the country, but no one was really talking about it or paying attention to what was going on here in Omaha at the start in the Midwest, in Lincoln, in Nebraska, the rest of the state. Uh, and so really our goal continues to be to work with players, to work with folks in the space to figure out how we uh, launch additional startups, how we continue to develop the creatives, uh, and how we start to mold those individuals together. So again, I just welcome everybody here. Thanks, guys, for your excitement and participation, and look forward to working with each and every one of you over the, uh, the months and years to come. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Tom. So uh, I didn't introduce myself. I apologize. I'm Tom Chapman. I'm with Nebraska Global. And for those of you who know a little bit about Startup America, this might be old news, but I'm gonna do about a 20 second riff on what it is. About a year ago, the president had an idea that um, the country needed to really grow through entrepreneurship. So from an economic development perspective, he was saying entrepreneurs are the leading force. And he created this idea of Startup America, but the execution was really handed off to a group of private individuals. So Startup America is not a government program. It's a program that's run by sort of a private foundation. And that private foundation has as its intent to help ecosystems like Nebraska grow. The Nebraska Startup America Partnership will be the eighth launched community. There are 12 more launching next week. So we are on the front end of something that's pretty exciting for the country. And a lot of that has to do with the momentum we already have. Some of that has to do with the leadership that Silicon Prairie and many of the people in this room have had. One of those people is Steve Keen, who also works for Nebraska Global. Steve is the founding partner and a principal for Nebraska Global. He's going to talk for about five to ten minutes about what it is to build an ecosystem. So with that, Steve Keen. So unlike these guys, I can't remember anything for five minutes and stay on track, so I had to write down some notes to make sure I hit the things that I thought were important. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about kind of my view of kind of the state of Nebraska right now, um, and it's not entirely pretty. Um, compared to a lot of other parts of the country, we just don't have enough good entrepreneurs. 
Um, there's, look at Silicon Valley, for example. We don't have enough capital that has a taste for startups. I don't think anybody would argue with that. Um, we don't have enough of a risk-taking mindset. We don't have general community support for startups. SPN has changed that tremendously, but in general, we just don't have that taste. We, d we lack a general mindset of innovative leadership. We don't look at ourselves as leaders. We do things other states did. Well, let's do this because that state did it. We just don't have the confidence, we don't believe in ourselves that we can do those things. Um, and while we've got more startups than ever, we're still falling behind other states. They're moving faster than we are. Now let me turn around and talk about what we do have. And this is what I think is important. We've got everybody in this state has a strong sense of ethics. They are hardworking, they're honest, and they're dedicated. A lot of places don't have it. I've traveled a lot of places and it's not the mindset. Everybody is, what's in it for me? We've got people in this community that have a long-term viewpoint. A lot of places, it's short term. What about tomorrow? They don't think long term. We do in this state. That's crucial. We've got a rich heritage of non-traditional entrepreneurs, namely farmers. You think, I've talked about this before with people, you think about farmers and what they face. Every day is an unknown. Every day things happen they can't control. Every day they have to get the job done. They have to find a way. We've got more kids than ever growing up in farming communities. These are entrepreneurs, just like all of you. We've also got a lot of inspirational leaders whose names you know. People like Warren Buffett, Peter Kiewit, Tom Osborne, Jeff Rakes. We've also got a lot of amazing past entrepreneurs whose names you probably don't know, and I want to mention some of those. David Hirschfeld started The Buckle. Keith Hellerman, microwave popcorn, invented in Nebraska. Edwin Perkins, Kool-Aid in Nebraska. Joyce Hall, sorry, Hallmark Cards. Jay Forrester. He invented the first computer memory. Without him, who knows where we'd be. And Robert Darty started Valmont. These are people that most people don't hear about. You don't think about the products of being impactful, but you look at how their businesses grew, how many people they employed, and how it really did change things globally. Those people came from here. You're no different than them. We can all do things way beyond where we believe. But most importantly, I think, We've got all of you, all of us, people who can carry us forward. These are people I mentioned that did, did things in the past. Your names will be on this list for things you do today and tomorrow going forward. So I want to talk for a minute about what Startup America means to me. Um, as Tom mentioned, I'm part of Nebraska Global. Um, Patrick and Doug Durham and myself, we started Nebraska Global because we had a belief in wanting to change things in this state. We believe that we've got untapped resources here. We just have to help be a catalyst to move things forward. I believe that Nebraska can be better. I believe that Nebraska and Nebraskans can lead. We don't have to just follow. We can set the pace. I believe that as citizens of this state, we can embrace our past and our strengths. We can blaze a bold trail forward for everybody. And more importantly, I think we can do it our way, not the Silicon Valley way. There's no question Silicon Valley is the place for startups. But it doesn't mean that we just need to do what they do and settle for that. We can do better than that. We've got a lot of quality in this state, quality that far exceeds Silicon Valley in many ways. We need to embrace that and be proud of that. And as we move forward, we build more startups, we need to keep that quality. That'll be the differentiator between us and Silicon Valley and other places. We also need to take more risks. We have to start more companies, and we have to do it the Nebraska way. We simply can't move forward and compete by emulating what other people are doing. You have to be different if you want to make a difference. I think we can and we will do it by emulating our past entrepreneurs, these people that had global impacts right here from Nebraska. Lastly, I think we can and we will start up Nebraska. Thank you.